welcome back students so we have already completed the chapter alcohols phenols and ethers so from now when the whichever chapter is completed immediately i'll be starting or i'll be solving 10 years board papers so what is the use of this immediately as soon as you solve the paper questions you'll have a link or you will be able to analyze between the mechanisms the reactions as well as the board questions that is my main uh, concern so from today whichever chapter i'll be doing i'll be simultaneously solving the board papers that is from 2007 till 2017 that is 16 17 so let us come back and solve now 2017 that is 2016 your last year paper so i picked up the questions which were given under alcohols phenols and ethers chapter as so as soon as you watch the video it will be mentioned there as 2016 17 board question so please go to that note it in your books and uh, most important thing is i'll be giving the answer according to the board scheme right why what is the reason because in your board paper when a question is given to you we basically know we have one mark question two marks three and five marks if a, if a question is given for one mark if you sit and write half the page or three fourths of the page you will not be able to complete the 70 marks paper that's important thing time management is very important in your board exams you should very well know how much to write for a one mark question how much to write for a five marks question that's the first concern and the second important thing is if you are trying to put your answer in the form of bullets it's very easy for the examiner to give you marks because in a marking scheme which is given for both every question or every subheading or every bullet will be allotted mark suppose if there is an answer like lanthanide contraction right lanthanide contraction definition carries half mark and explanation again carries mark R graph carries mark consequences carries mark so that is the reason i'll be giving in the form of bullets please try to note it in your books and finally i expect you all to write the answers further if you still have doubts please do send me your comments so I'll, let us start with the first question of 2016 17 board paper let us read the question so what is given to us arrange the following now this is as i said it is 2016 17 uh, question arrange the following compounds in the increasing order of acidic strength they have given us so let us see if this question is given to you how should you start your answer first basically as soon as this question is given to you write answer like this yeah <clears throat> first what did they ask us they have asked us to write the increasing order of acidic strength correct that means the maximum the highly acidic uh, compound should be the end and the least acidic should be at the first so what you do you are going to write order of increasing acidic strength right right like this increasing acidic strength and now try to put a box in the exam right so that it is easy for the examiner to give you mark here correct yeah now among all these first let me write the order and then give you the reason for writing the order so first this is para crisol so according to the structure which i'm going to explain para crisol is least acidic right less don't write greater please less because the last one should be maximum the first one should be minimum para crisol then comes comparison between this and this next would be your phenol phenol is less acidic than para nitro phenol right this is done my almost the answer is correct till here the examiner will correct and give you marks here now i have to write the reason for this so first of all before writing the reason just put a subheading like this reason and try to underline it now first let us write the structure para crisol what is para crisol this is your benzene ring your phenol they have given para right so your phenol ring in the para position you have ch3 this is para crisol so let us write this is para crisol done next comes phenol your benzene ring i'm just writing the ring in this way not a problem this is your phenol next comes would be next is your para nitro phenol so both of the para the phenol oh uh, and the nitro group both are at the para position be careful don't write meta or ortho because the acidic strength varies with meta or ortho and para careful para nitro phenol this is your ring with this is your nitro group no2 
this is para nitrophenol done now i am done with the structures after this i have to write the reason what is the reason for me writing like that so once i take this tabular column fill it like this and start writing now what are you observing in the first case here here also phenol here also phenol here also phenol but only difference is in this particular thing you have a methyl group or alkyl group very important in this particular thing you have a nitro group what is the difference between methyl and nitro first important thing instead of methyl i'll write alkyl alkyl or r group what are alkyl groups as we have studied they are electron releasing group they keep on releasing electron density so alkyl are electron releasing groups correct <coughs> what about nitro when i speak about nitro nitro group is electron withdrawing group right it keeps on pulling out electron uh, density from oxygen yeah right so when i speak about uh, alkyl group let us come back and see what will happen when something is electron releasing observe carefully when methyl group is donating electron this electron density spread here again this shifts this shifts this shift then finally lot of electron cloud is created around oxygen yes or no when something is trying to release already this is pi electrons this also has alkyl group also donating the electron donating nature of alkyl and the presence of pi electron finally creates a big electron cloud around oxygen now when the electron cloud is larger enough is there any requirement for oxygen being electronegative to drag the electron not required so it becomes very difficult for me to pull out that h plus as we know which is called acidic when there is release of h plus now let us write what i said in words now we say alkyl is electron releasing group yeah electron density electron density around oxygen increases correct yes now when electron density increases release of h plus becomes very difficult because there is no drag or pull from the like oxygen side so what we'll write release of h plus is difficult when release of h plus is difficult automatically it is less acidic done over now let me come back to nitro now we very well said nitro group is electron withdrawing in nature correct when it's trying to withdraw the electron let us see now we very well know oxygen and hydrogen correct now the, this oxygen is going to drag the electron and it becomes partially negative and this becomes partially positive now again these electrons Uh, get shifted here due to resonance this hole and finally these electrons are dragged or pulled up with nitro group correct now when this is trying to drag the electron there is certain amount of charge separation happening correct so what should i write because of electron withdrawing nature electron density be careful you are writing here electron density here also it should be electron density electron density around oxygen decreases yes now when electron density around oxygen decreases there is what happens no charge separation very good so charge separation occurs charge separation when there is charge separation i can easily release or release of h plus is I mean, I can easily because already this has become minus this become plus i can easily cleave the bond here and release out so release of h plus becomes easier becomes easier correct and hence highly acidic highly acidic yes this is how you are going to write your answer compare i am talking about alkyl here i am going to talking about nitro here i am talking about electron releasing here i am talking about electron withdrawing here here i am talking about electron density increase here i am talking about electron density decrease yes here i am talking about release of h plus here i am talking about release of h plus here again i am spoke about acidity uh, decrease here i spoke about highly acidic nature let me come back to phenol suppose some other question is given where you have to compare with phenol and that one you can write this reason basically uh, we very well know phenol when it's dissolved or when it is <clears throat> when it dissociates it forms your phenoxide ion and h plus correct now we very well know phenoxide ion so what is this called phenoxide ion 
what is this phenoxide is showing this phenoxide ion is going to show us resonance when something is showing resonance it is highly stable right so what do you say phenoxide ion shows resonance hence stable when it is stable will it release the h plus ions as easy as compared to nitro not so release of h plus is low compared to this hence phenol is less acidic than natrophenol most important next let me add one more to this maybe it will be useful for some other reasoning questions we can also compare acidity now hope you understood ortho paracrisol is this nitro reason is this phenol reason is this and you can also write in terms of pka what is this always remember i'm giving you one more clue greater the pka value lesser or lesser acidic it is lesser acidic so your pka for phenol is 10 your pka for nitro is 8.3 so as I already said greater the pka lesser acidic now this is higher than the your nitro group so i can easily say with these two reasons the order is paracrisol electron releasing phenol resonance paranitrophenol electron withdrawing nature thank you for watching